Good day, friends. This is E, the Empty Nester. I thought I would do a story or a video about um, what's eating my tomatoes. Today we were going to the store to pick up some cat food and we seen a squirrel um, steal this tomato from a place, um, you know, a person's garden. You know, every year they put their tomatoes in the same location and grow them. And um, we seen, you know, the squirrel had this in his ma mouth, barely getting it across the street. And um, I thought, oh my God, that's amazing. I wish I had a camera. <laughs> but it seems like the best things are never um, available. You know, you never have a camera for the best things. And um, I thought this would be a good way to show, see how the little, there's little teeny tiny bites here. And there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And this tomato is not attached to the stem of the person who owned this tomato. Where in my garden, um, you saw in my past video when I was collecting the tomatoes, I would pull one off and um, there would be, here's one laying on the ground. There's a good amount of um, tomato you know, this one they came back and came back for, but the tomato would normally be left on the um, vine, and they, the squir the rabbit is the one that's eating my garden. They just, you know, take bites out of this side, and then sometimes they'll come back and get bites out of the other side, but the bites are all, you know, in one general area. This right here um, is from a sun scald. This tomato, the leaves are off the tomato, and um, the sun got it, and it was a pale white coloring, and then it continues to deteriorate and turn into a, a spot as the tomato ripens. Because, you know, the other ones, you know, these were bit, and I just throw them on the ground. And that way, you know, um, anything else that needs to eat can eat. Myself, you know, it's okay that they, you know, help themselves to the garden. But what I'm going to do with this tomato, and the reason I picked it up, because um, I've met the person that does, um, what do you call it, grow these. And years ago I talked to him. And he said that this is a tomato that's been in his family f for over 75 years. And um, thanks to the squirrel, um, leave, you know, eating what he wanted and leaving it, I can take the seeds out of this and um, be able to grow them in my yard next year. All I'm going to do is break this up. Look how meaty that tomato is. This one's not, you know, with there being green on the top, there's a good chance that it's not fully ripe. But um, I can't wait around for it to ripen because of all the bites. All I can do is, you know, test these seeds and see if they're mature enough. I think that's about it. I'll take these in the house and, um, you know, run it under water and get the majority of the flesh um, off of it and then put the seeds in water and let them ferment for a day or two. In many videos you'll see that um, they say things that float um, are poss possibly not viable and then the ones that sink are the ones that are viable but there's also a chance that let's see if I can get one that these guys that are floating have too much gel on them and that keeps them floating if you take the gel off and put him back in see how it sunk 
so that makes that one uh, by this kind of test that makes that one a viable seed take another one and see if I can wipe the gel off and put it back in see it sink okay I've got the majority of the debris you know from the tomato separated and you can see there's still floaters and sinkers but um, the fermentation will um, start from all the stuff, the gunk that's left on there. And in a couple days, you know, this should be ready. These are berries from the potatoes that I grew this year. I had three berries and I've let them set in the window and shrink for the last month or so. And I'll shortly take them apart and see what kind of viable seed I get out of them. These have been drying for a week or so. And they're ready for me to bag up and store. I write down, like this is black crumb. You know, I let, write down the name of the um, tomato. And that way, you know, I can tell it apart from the next one. See how tiny, or I don't know if you can see if it's blurred. These are tiny, and um, BCC is a code for the name.